Trouble tonight for Uber and Lyft, both companies based in San Francisco. Take a look. Hundreds of legally blind people took to the streets of the city to protest the rideshare companies. They say they're being cons constantly discriminated against, usually because drivers don't want guide dogs in their cars. Now, if true, this could violate federal law. This rally comes just months after our investigative unit broke multiple stories about blind Bay Area riders being left at the curb. Uber and Lyft say they're taking action to educate their drivers, but the president of the National Federation of the Blind says it's still a widespread problem. Denials are happening every day, and there's a cumulative effect because once you've been denied by a driver, you have a lot of anxiety about that next ride, right? So it actually has a stunning effect on your decisions to go out and live your life. Uber releasing a statement this evening saying in part, quote, our policies prohibit drivers from denying service because of a rider's service animal or assistive device. And we are committed to implementing technology and policies that help make transportation more accessible. A statement from Lyft reads in part, we continually update our practices to improve accessibility for riders and are proud to be working directly with advocacy organizations in the community. This year, we are launching a service animal opt-in feature, allowing riders to disclose that they travel with the service animal when requesting a ride. Investigative reporter Candace Wynn has been leading our charge on the story, breaking multiple developments, major developments, both locally and nationally. Candace joins us now from the newsroom. Candace, what do you have? Yeah, hey Raj, we showed videos of Uber and Lyft drivers constantly canceling on blind rideshare users here in the Bay Area. We also confirmed the U.S. Department of Justice is looking into this issue right now. So over the summer, we spoke to three Bay Area people who are blind and use guide dogs safely to get around. One is a San Jose teacher, sent us videos over the summer showing her getting canceled on almost on a weekly basis. Sometimes the driver's saying they don't want a dog in their car. Other times the driver's just leaving before stopping at all. Uh, he's a service dog. Thank you. He's not a pet. He is like a wheelchair. I know, but I cannot. The nonprofit Guide Dogs for the Blind, based out of San Rafael, and a source close to the U.S. DOJ, confirms with us the department is looking into these complaints. They are collecting data, including survey information from that nonprofit, showing 83% of their blind clients have been canceled on. Uber and Lyft tell me they are testing new programs where users can self-identify that they're blind and receive accommodations. Blind riders instantly reached out to me after hearing about this, and they told me they shouldn't have to take this extra step, and drivers should be trained to not discriminate against them and their guide dogs. With the investigative unit, I'm Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News.